4.02 in the morning. Crack of dawn this morning to go run a race. The race isn't a big deal, but this whole thing's a big deal for, let me explain. Morning. Old tradition of mine to always have a bagel before a race. Today's a big deal because I used to run a lot of races, but I haven't run one in three years and today is me confronting that by running my first race in three years and my little brother's coming to for moral support and I paid for the bagels. Well thank you for the delicious bagels. Bye, Bye ladies. Bye. Sun's coming up, race starts in uh We've arrived. I'm gonna go register for the race now. I thought I could sign up today. You're not allowed to sign up race day to register. They told me no, they told me to go home. I found the race director and he says you let me run. I don't get a time though, or like a bib where you put the number on, but whatever. I get to run, it's official. A little concerned about the temperature though. It's freezing, everyone has on sweatpants and tights and this is what I brought to run in. Uh, Race starts in 10 minutes. You ready? Good luck. Hey. 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 Okay, race starts in like four minutes. You know what it is? I mean, I run every day, and I've run 50 races before, but I have butterflies right now. I think what it is is like, I'm getting old, I'm 35 now, and I can tell myself that I'm in great shape and I feel young and all that, but when you actually show up to something like this and there's a clock and a time, it's like an actual test of how well I'm maintained. It's confronting that that I think makes me a little nervous. Wish me luck. I can no longer complain about not having the right clothes on. Super, super happy with my performance in my first race out in three years. I did have a timing tip, but I, I timed it here on my uh, on my phone. But I came in at 103, which puts me here. Can you see this? So I ran a little further at 10.2 miles, a six minute, 14 second pace. I think it puts me around 20th place out of uh, maybe like a thousand runners. Felt good though. As you get older, the price of maintaining your youth goes up and up and up. 
and what that means is when you're like 15, 16, 18 years old, you can eat whatever the hell you want. You don't have to exercise, you're skinny, it's easy. In your 20s, it gets a little harder. You get fat in college. Then as you become even older and older, it gets harder and harder. The older you are, the harder you have to work. There was this guy in front of me during the race, and uh, gray hair, gray mustache. He was ahead of me the whole race. We started together, but he was ahead of me the whole race, and I was chasing him down as best I could, and I finally caught up to him at mile nine, one mile left, and I pulled up next to him, and he turns to me and he goes, 60. I'm 60 years old. Racing, you, you sir are on fire out there. <laughs> 60. Yeah. Incredible, man. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Now at 60, he's as fast as I am at 35. I'm busting my ass. He's as fast as I am. If, if there's one truth that I know, it is that the source of the fountain of youth can be summed up with one word. Work. <laughs> reason why I brought my kid brother today. I mean, I like hanging out with the kid, but the main reason why I brought him was so he could film me while I ran. He, he missed the shot of me crossing the finish line because he was in the car getting warm. Thanks, Dean. Yeah.